Thanks for letting me stay on with your crew, Captain. I plan to be a very generous queen to all my friends. You could be generous right now. Move into my quarters. They're cozy. A man who describes his quarters as cozy really means he leaves dirty clothes on the floor. Every captain needs a good first mate. Corso doesn't know what it takes to run a starship. But I do. Considering the light years you've been racking up, I suggest a hyperdrive overhaul and a sublight engine tune-up. Which do you want first? The last thing we need is to get stranded in deep space. Keep my hyperdrive... hyper. Consider it done. I'll be indispensable before you know it. Bet you were surprised to see I can hold my own in a fight. I'm pretty good with a blaster. My father taught me to shoot when I was four years old. You robbed me of my big chance. Teaching a girl to shoot can be romantic. If you do it right. And very messy if you don't. Maybe he spared you a visit to the med center. Father wanted me self-sufficient as early as possible. Said I'd need it to survive. He was right. I still remember the day he told me he was going to sleep for a while. Said I was on my own. Nock was in that carbonite for a decade. Weren't you still counting birthdays on one hand? I was 11. Made my first solo hyperspace jump and flew to Dantooine. Father had a hideout there. Talk about your one band of planets. For a few years, Dantooine's population was doubled thanks to me and Father frozen in carbonite. You had one messed up childhood, Risha. It's a wonder you didn't come out crazy. Looking back, I should have been miserable. But it was just a big adventure. Speaking of which, we're overdue for some more excitement. What do you say we get back to our latest caper? Sometimes I can't believe you actually got back my crown. Do you know how many spacers died looking for it? Don't take this the wrong way, but when we first met, I thought you'd end up like all the others. No wonder you wouldn't let yourself fall for me. You were afraid I'd die. Oh yes, terrified. You're all right, Captain. With a little polish, you just might shine. This polishing business sounds like fun. When do we start? I wasn't volunteering, Captain. Just observing. I shouldn't be keeping us from our work. I know how busy we are. I think I figured out why we get along so well, Captain. We're both restless people. It's how we survive. Trouble loves us, and we just keep on moving. Eventually Trouble gets tired of following and gives up. I'm the kind of Trouble that never gets tired. Do yourself a favor, sweetheart. Stop running. I don't have to run from you, Captain. A brisk walk is usually enough. There wasn't nearly enough trouble growing up on Dantooine. After being a crime lord's daughter, sitting around got dull real quick. I had a big library of hollow recordings from my father, but I could only watch them so many times. Never figured Nock for the sentimental type. He left you a bunch of hollows dispensing his life's wisdom? If by wisdom you mean teaching me how to become a criminal, then yes. He was a good teacher. Very detail-oriented. By the time I was 14, I'd had enough. I buried Father's Carbonite Chamber someplace safe, and hit the hyperlanes with a new identity. Those were good times. I met Juran and Adila, got mixed up with Beryl Thorne, lived a life of crime. Every time I see some idiot scrubbing tables at a cantina, I think of how lucky I am. Normal jobs are for people who aren't smart enough to earn a real living. I'm starting to enjoy these chats, but I'm feeling restless. Let's go find some trouble. I envy you, Captain. You'll always be free to do as you please. That all changes for me, once I'm a queen. Freedom is overrated, sweetheart. I'd rather buy a nice planet somewhere, retire with the woman of my dreams. Dream woman, huh? Good thing you've got a vivid imagination. I've studied records about the Draen dynasty. They started from humble beginnings, distinguished themselves as war heroes, officially anyway. In reality, they backstabbed their way to power just like every other ruler. Some were better at it than others. Why didn't Nock make his own play for the throne? He was king of the backstab. He knew recovering the crown was essential to establishing legitimate rule. It's not enough to conquer a world. You have to hold it, too. Father had his failings, but he inspired loyalty. Whenever he defeated a rival gangster, he always freed the enemy slaves. He gave them a choice. Join him or take their chances elsewhere. No recriminations for anyone who left. The rest became family. Interesting way to recruit new talent. How many slaves actually signed on? Those people had a lot of anger issues. Most were excited to have a job that let them express it. There was this one little Twi'lek girl who joined us. Best thief I ever met. Got into all sorts of trouble together. We were like sisters, but when Father's organization collapsed, we got separated. I never found out what happened to her. 
Never too late to find her. If she's as good a thief as you say, she might come in handy. That was a long time ago. Sometimes it's better to leave the past alone. You're really bringing out my chatty side today. That usually means I need to get some exercise. Let's find something more exciting to do than stand around. Seems like I've been doing all the talking lately. Makes me suspicious. The biggest drawback of the criminal lifestyle is, you don't meet a lot of decent men. Most are long on charm, short on substance. What's underneath that charming exterior, Captain? Or is that all you've got? Maybe I just didn't want to bore you with personal details. You want to know more about me? Ask away. You're a mercenary who takes jobs for free. How do you plan to stay in business, Captain Goodhart? I'm looking to settle down with a nice girl of independent means. Know anybody like that? <laughs> At least you're honest. I won't lie. I enjoy spending time with you, but I'm not like other girls. The easy lines are wasted on me. If that doesn't scare you off, maybe this will actually go somewhere. I guess we'll see. If I'm going to take over Debrillion, I can't keep looking for allies in the same old places. The scum of the galaxy isn't as useful when you're stealing a throne. I need a better class of accomplices. You can't steal anything big without some corrupt officials on your payroll. There are some interesting rumors out of Debrillion. Turns out the aristocracy is unhappy with the king. Some nobles are secretly rebelling. Hating the king is one thing. Putting you on the throne is something else. The point is, the planet's politics are ripe for change. All I have to do is personify that. Dubrillian is turning into another Alderaan. A new queen could prevent that, assuming she had the aristocracy's support. But that means taking this game to a new level. You up for that? I'm not leaving you until you're sitting pretty on that throne. And not even then. I'll have to find you a political appointment. Maybe something in sanitation? I've put out feelers to some key Dubrillian nobles. When one of them bites, be ready to pounce. In the meantime, we have plenty of other business to keep us occupied. I notice we're spending a lot of time together. I'm not complaining, but you know this can't go anywhere, right? Sooner or later I have to leave your ship. I don't want any hard feelings when I do. Does that make sense? I'd rather regret you for the rest of my life than get scared off by your crazy talk. There's just no reasoning with you. Have it your way. If you want to make something of... whatever it is we have, fine. But don't say I didn't warn you. Never thought I'd say this, but you're my favorite partner in crime. You make beating the odds look easy, Captain. What can I say? I'm inspired by a beautiful woman. Just so we're clear, I had a snappy comeback for that line, but I'm not using it out of respect. I've definitely learned a few dirty tricks from watching you work. Think I might have found a few of my own. We'll find out at our next death-defying showdown. I can't wait. You probably think I'm chasing Debrillian's throne to get rich, don't you? You're a much more complicated woman than that. You think I'm complicated. But in a good way, right? Because I am. Complicated. I've seen what bad leadership does to a place. Aldrin, Narshada, even Coruscant. They all suffer because of who's in power. I'm not looking to plunder Debrillian. I want to make it better, run their society the right way. From everything I've heard about your homeworld, it could use someone decent in charge. Never thought of myself as decent before. Maybe I can sell that. Every successful leader has the same strength. They're perceived as generous by their subjects. Give the people just enough of what they want, and they'll leave you alone. That's something the King of Dubrillion doesn't understand. For a second, I thought I was seeing a whole new side of you. False alarm. I'm just saying what everyone else is thinking. Nothing wrong with that. I can make this work. It's all about negotiation, and I'm good at that. I'm just thinking out loud now. We should get back to business. Been thinking about our decision to keep things casual. Thought I'd make sure you're still alright with it. In case you haven't noticed, I never stopped chasing you. We've been running a long time. That takes real stamina. It could be years before I'm on Debrillian's throne. Seems a shame to limit my options in the here and now. You seem to know what I like. Heard of any opportunities I should explore? There's only one, Risha. I'll never settle for second best. I don't think you should either. Good answer. I look forward to continuing this discussion later. You think about what I said, and get back to me with a response. You can count on it. 
We can't just stand here staring at each other. We have some exciting caper to pull off, don't we? Guess who found a potential accomplice in the Debrillian aristocracy? Feast your eyes on this hollow embossed, genuine flimsiplast invitation. See that fancy arabesque lettering? Hand drawn, in ink, classy. Count Merritt Rinald requests the favor of your presence at a discreet location in the Galactic Senate Tower on Coruscant at a time of your choosing. Coruscant? Why not do brilliant? Coruscant is neutral ground. Meeting at the Senate Tower? That's a gesture of respect. Count Rinald is one of the most popular nobles on Dubrillion. He's also secretly organizing a rebellion against the King. His invitation is addressed to Risha Drayan, royal heir to the Drayan dynasty. He's taking me very seriously. The Count sounds like the kind of accomplice you need to overthrow the King. I'm contacting him by Hollow to arrange our meeting. Wanted you here to help me get a read on him. Opening a channel. Whoa. This is a tremendous moment, your royal heiress. I grew up hearing tales of the Trayan dynasty. The great battles your ancestors fought. I never believed I'd meet a member of that proud bloodline in person. You have my deepest sympathies for your family's exile. Risha wants back into Debrillian politics. You can make that happen, right? You must be the starship captain who recovered the crown of Debrillian. My world is in your debt. The king wants that crown, and my head. He won't be happy if he finds out we're talking. The man has lost all reason. He must be removed from power, but in a way that spares our world a bloody civil war. I believe the common people and aristocracy alike would embrace the Drayan dynasty heir, especially if she wears the crown of Drabrillion. Nothing is ever that easy. Skip to the part where our lives get complicated. It will not be enough to dethrone the king. He must be replaced by someone that people view as one of their own. Right now, you are an outsider. The only way to change that is to marry someone from the existing aristocracy. Get married? To who? Well, <clears throat> the only available suitor is... <sighs> Great stars, this is awkward. I am offering myself in marriage to you. Risha already has a man in her life. Forgive me, I should have realized. Have you two joined? Uh, not exactly. No. Please understand, I do not desire to come between you. That said, the final choice should be yours. I understand my proposal is abrupt, but I wished to make my intentions clear and not waste your valuable time. I certainly don't expect an immediate response. All I ask is that you consider this for the good of the Brilliant. That'll be easier to do once we've met in person. I'm on my way to Coruscant. See you there, Count. Well, that wasn't awkward at all. That was the worst blind date ever. You've known this guy all of two minutes and he proposes marriage? Crazy. This isn't romance, it's just politics. Under the circumstances, I should probably take this meeting alone. Be back soon, Captain. Never talked to a complete stranger for that long before. Count Rinald gives to charities, builds orphanages, creates wildlife preserves, and those are just his hobbies. You ever consider we've been wasting our lives? I do everything for one reason. To get rich. It's straightforward, easy to remember, and works amazingly well most of the time. Ah, the simple life. Anyway, I left the negotiations open. I told the Count I needed time to think about his proposal. That'll give me a chance to run a deep background check. If this guy is as good as he seems, he just might help me overthrow the King without getting married. <laughs>